Hello guys, welcome to another short video on SharePoint. There might be some scenarios where you want to use some different fonts other than the inbuilt fonts like uh, Tahoma or Times New Roman. As you can see here in this example, I have used some different font which is uh, similar to a handwriting. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can use different fonts uh, like this in our websites. Let's see how we can uh, achieve this one in our website. First thing for this one is we need a font. There are so many websites uh, available uh, in the net from which we can download fonts. One of my favorite uh, and uh, most uh, uh, used font site is Google Fonts which have varieties of uh, uh, fonts. So let's go to Google Fonts. You can just uh, search for Google Fonts and uh, go to the site. Here uh, you can see there are a lot of fonts are available. Just I will search for the font which I want to add in my site now. So here is the font which I want to use in my website. Click on the font. Here you can see the details about the font. This is uh, Rini Bini. Uh, if you scroll down, you, you can see here how letters are designed. You can read about the licensing part here. So these are, uh, you can use uh, freely uh, these fonts in your website, but you can't sell it. Uh, so that is the main licensing rule uh, here in Google Fonts. So at the top right side, you can see there is a option called download family. You can just click on that one. Font will be downloaded in your local drive. Uh, go to drive and unzip the font. Once uh, you have unzipped this one, you will get a font file, uh, usually with, which will be of .ttf format. So the next thing uh, we need to do is we need to upload this into our websites. Then uh, we can link it to our web page. Go back to our website and uh, within the site contents, uh, site assets, where you can upload all our images and uh, fonts. Here uh, I will upload my font, whichever I have downloaded just now. Just drag and uh, drop it here. Font will be uploaded here. Once it is uploaded here, you will get a link which can be used in our web page. So let's go back to code editor. Let's have a basic HTML uh, template first. To use external fonts in our site, uh, there is a CSS rule uh, by name font face, which we can use for adding uh, external uh, fonts in our websites. We can have a style which is used for adding CSS uh, styles. As I said, we have a font face. Uh, that is the CSS rule which we can use for adding external fonts. Here font family is nothing but we can give one name, any generic name. Here I will give as external font. In the URL, uh, we need to copy the URL of the font, whichever we have just now copied. So we can copy it here. So this should be in double quotation mark. So now we are done with uh, defining this external font. After defining this one in our style, we can use in our HTML content wherever we need to add it here. I will add some content here. So the next step is we need to define or use whatever the font family we have created already. For that one currently I am using inline style element and I can use the font family. Then you can mention the font family whichever you have defined here like this. Just paste it here. So that's it what you need to do uh, for adding external uh, font. Just copy this one and go back to your site. And uh, here we can add that one using a script editor. For that one click on uh, settings icon and then edit page. Here currently I have a script editor. If you don't have a script editor you can use the insert and uh, where you can find a script editor and you can add it into your web page. Click on edit uh, snippet and paste it in the window here. Then click on insert. Finally, you need to click on save. As soon you clicked on save, as you can see here, content has been added into our web page with the font, whatever we have downloaded from Google Fonts. Currently, it's not visible. Just make the font size a bit uh, bigger. Font size, I will make it as 30 pixels. Copy this one and go back to your site. Use the same steps. Go to edit page. Edit the snippet and paste it. Click on insert. Then save it. 
you can observe here Google font what whichever we have downloaded that is uh, applied here in our web page thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and share this video to others